Hello everyone and welcome to the next of my Payday 2 tutorial videos. Today I'm going to do a solo Deathwish nightclub. This one is unique in a couple ways that you're going to see in just a moment. But for now, let's look at uh, our assets, shall we? You should know all these. Bad music is unique to this mission. It'll reduce the amount of people on the dance floor from about 7 to about 5. I would normally recommend you get body bags for a stealth mission, but because of where they're placed on this map, I don't recommend it this time. Loot drop truck is actually pretty important. It gives me a safer and faster way to get the money out. And expert driver you should know. So, let's begin. Okay, it's an early night. The bouncer looks unusually bright for a bouncer. See if you can get past him, or if he needs convincing. Once you're in, find the manager's office, find the safe, and clean it out. Now, since the guard right there, your first instinct might be to try and find an alternate route, but you don't need to. Let me show you why. Sorry guys, you're not on the list. Ah, uh, whatever. You guys seem like class acts. The bouncer will just let you in 100% of the time. Get in. Also, right where I'm looking now, there could be a sign here that says Gensec under surveillance. If that sign is there, then you have cameras. If it's not there, you do not have cameras. Keep track, guys. If you're on Death Wish, then the cameras will be Titan cams. Let me just uh, deal with this really quick. The guards here do not page at all. One of only two maps where that is the case. And the guards here can also drop key cards, although that one did not. But you can't win them all. What can you do, right? Another guard down. Did he have a key card? This one did have a key card. So let's go ahead and use it really quick to get this door open. You get down. Let me get rid of this corpse really quick. So as you can see, I'm already out of uh, body bags, but that's really not an issue because this isn't the only place where I would have needed them. Is for this first area. Okay, I, I thought I told you to move. Come on. There we go. You come way over here, please. Let me just uh, move this back a little bit for safety. Now, if once this door was shut, guards would never come in. Now that it's been opened, though, guards can wander in, so you have to be careful about that. But since I just got two, there's a good chance that I won't have more than one more whoever comes up here anyway. Guys, you need to get that safe open. Another thing important to note, this room may not even be here. Sometimes this door is not here. If that's the case, you'll need to go in, cut through the kitchen, through the dance floor. This is the kitchen I speak of right here. And you'd want to cut through and mask up in the back. Another interesting fact, when you cut through here, there's either going to be one or two people in this area, right here. And, uh, oddly enough, people never come into this area, so it's more or less always secure. Except when that happens. Well, I'm out of body bags, so what I need to do now is take the kitchen to secure my kill over here. So I'm going to do that now. Preferably in a safer spot than right there. Once I take care of everybody who would wander through that door, that dead guard will no longer matter. Because, uh, yeah. Come on. I don't always take the kitchen. If he had not seen anything, I would have just cut right through here safely, no problem. But because he did and I'm out of body bags, we're taking the kitchen. So I just need to make sure, okay, the bartender's out back right now, good. Yep, good. Get down. I want to get over here. Stay down. There's only a few people who actually wander back here, only staff. This is, as you can see, the lounge is through there, but this area back here is staff only. Guys, you need to get that safe open. So once I take care of the staff, that won't be an issue anymore. This is the manager, he'd like to come out here for a smoke. 
I'm not sure if he had the keycard 100% of the time, or just, like, nearly 100%, but he almost always has a keycard. So, get his keycard to help open more doors. Use key to open doors. I forget what game that's from. And my drill broke. I'll go fix it in just a second after I get this door open. Oh, important thing to note about soloing this, there is no camera room on this map at all. You cannot turn off the cameras. So yeah, you cannot turn off the cameras, so taking the kitchen, which would normally have a camera over here or over here, is a very bad idea if you, if you have cam spawns. If you absolutely can't do it without cam spawns, just reset. It's not a pro job, and you, they will eventually not be there. But it, they can be walked around. Let me uh, carefully look for guards back here. What do I got in the guard situation here? That looks pretty good to me. So that's nice. Damn it. Use the key card. Down here in the little uh, fight club area, we find our second safe. There's always two safes. They're always tied in on Death Wish. They can be pickable on lower difficulties. If you're not on Death Wish, the cameras would not be tied in. There's often a camera right here. Oh boy, that was scary. There's also a, there's often a camera right out here. I'm not going to mess with that guy at all. He looks stationary, so I'm just going to leave him alone. If he comes in here, then I'll deal with him. But for now, I'll go ahead and use one ECM to crack the final door open. Because I have two anyway, and I only need one left. There we go. And let me see if there's anybody up here I need to tie down. Not today, there could have been people up here. The safe could have also been right here. There's only three spawns, and this is the last one. Now, there's only one thing in this whole level I recommend you break, and that is this window. With your fist only, or a knife, or melee the window out, this one, and now I can safely get the money out. How in the hell did I take fall it? Whatever. You need to get that safe open. So, pretty much nothing else is going to happen until both of my saves are done being opened. So I know the first one to finish will be over here. Oh, speak of the devil, hold that thought, hold that thought, I gotta deal with something. We're good, we're good. <laughs> that was closer than I like, but we are good. No need to panic, guys. The body fell back there. The DJ almost saw it, but the body fell before he got a good look, so... That was almost scary. And that's not the safe that's broken. Of course not. Oh no, I was done! Alright, if this happens, you need to take the front, you need to take it hard and fast. It's not a deal, but it's not over yet. We can still try and pull it off, but we gotta really get these people down fast and hard. And shoot the guard outside. Watch for cell phone. If you get one, deal with it. We're gonna have to do a lot of killing here. But sometimes that's what it comes to. Not how I originally wanted to do it, but I will do what I have to do. No, you don't. Do not even make a foot. Where's my off-screen guy? Oh, where is he? Where, where the f oh, it's DJ. Jesus Christ. You. Stay dead. Hold on, people. Almost done with the mass murder that became necessary when a guard got a shot off. We good now? Yeah, we good now. Okay. So yeah, if you have to, you can take the whole damn place. It's going to cut really heavily into your profit, but it is an option if it comes to it. If I hadn't aggroed that guard, then that wouldn't have had to happen, but I guess it's good to show off how to do it. If I had simply not bumped into that guy, that could have been avoided. Anyway, at this point, we cannot lose at all. It's not going to happen. There's... There's frankly no possible way to lose. I've killed everybody on the map or tied them up. Guys, you need to get that safe open. As you can see, 
it's not that hard to stealth. I think it would have been it would have been more professional if I hadn't killed like everyone. Let me make a small try and fix my profit margin here. With a thousand dollars, that's gonna make a huge difference. But uh, I'm glad that I did have to, because if something goes wrong, like this asshole, then that's what it comes down to. You just gotta shoot the place up, and that's part of. And that's also why I bought the uh, thing on the dance floor to reduce the number of people here, so I'd have to shoot less. That saved me a lot of money in that killing spree to buy the bad music. Yes, that's oh, looks like we got the cash in the first safe, so let's go pack it up. So here's our cash. Because we found this, the van's on the way. See, if it if I hadn't done that, what I would have done is I would have pulled the bags through this area that I did secure. I would have taken them back here, through that door. I'm going to show you the route in case you don't take the front, but uh, I did. I'm... I'm thinking about redoing it, but I'm thinking at the same time, it is good to show you guys how to take the front if you have to, which you might. You don't have to get anywhere near the truck. As long as it goes out the window, it, it automatically goes in. No aim required. Alright, Jesus, let me fix the drill. Ah, noisy ass drill. Yeah, I'm not going to redo it, because it's good to see what to do if something goes wrong, and that's what you have to do. Think quick, get everyone down, get everyone down, and just take the profit loss. If I was in a full party, which you probably will be when you do this, you could have potentially 6, 12, 18, 24 ties, and with 24 ties you wouldn't have to kill anybody. You could just tie up the whole place easily, just like when you're taking the front of a bank with a group, and then you wouldn't lose any money. But I don't have that luxury. There's money scattered all over in small increments like so. There's also a lot of money down in the Fight Club area. Well, not a lot, but there's some money, like here. Okay, 166 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, and I'm going to pick it back up after that drill is done, because this is going to take a while. All you're going to miss is the van arriving. So, really not that big a deal. Yeah, really not a big deal. Oh, damn it. So yeah, I will see you guys in, well, when I finish the drill. And we're back, everybody. Uh, there, will, there can sometimes only be one safe. Although it's rare. The second safe, if you have to, will always have a lot of cocaine in it. And I mean a lot of cocaine. I could take it up the first way, but I also want to show you the escape route now. Our escape is right here. So, 184,000 per bag of coke. There's a decent amount of coke in here normally. Like today I got the max bomb, which is like five, five, six bags, something like that. A full safe of coke. And also, something else to note while I run this is that uh, if there was cameras, I could not have solo taken this whole place if there was cameras. Like when I shot everybody, because I have to be able to get everyone out of the kitchen and out of this spot right here because the camera can be right up here. And I have to get all the bodies out of this area in here because of a camera right there. The dance floor normally does not have cameras overlooking it. So, oh, I forgot to get a fucking bag, Jesus. So yeah, you cannot pull that stunt solo. If there's cameras. With a group, I would have enough ECMs and enough body bags to pull the bodies away from the cameras during the ECM, and that would make it quite doable. Nor do I really recommend you solo this. I think it's much easier with a team to help you take down guards quicker. But, uh, you know, I, I want to do this one solo specifically. Yes, yes, we're ready. Just let me move the damn coke here. Yeah. Yeah, so as I was saying, um... Yeah, I, I want to do it solo because a lot of people seem to have trouble stealthing it at all, like in any way, even when things go bad or not. So I just wanted to make sure you saw that it is quite stealthable. 
So I got two more bags to run and we'll be done. And I am taking the time to get the bags today because I lost a lot of money shooting that place up and I'd like to break even. Or I'd get close to breaking even at least. Last bag, peeps. We're almost out of here. Okay, I believe I went over everything I need to say. But if I did forget something, or if you have a question, leave a comment, and I'll get back to you on that. And with... There we go. And with that, we're done. <laughs> we're in the clear. Not a cop in the world saw this one coming. Russians will be furious, and Vlad will OD on vodka. Let's get paid. Vlad is growing indeed. You get a 20% stealth bonus for this. It pays out mm, crappy, to be honest. All Vlad jobs pay out crappy in both money and experience, but they're quick. That's the catch. Let's see what today's payday is. A Belgian heat handguard for an AK-5. I actually like the AK-5. I think it's a pretty fun rifle. So I'm not complaining about that. But that'll be all for now, folks. So I am Nosgard Silverclaw, here with my character Dallas, and I hope this video in some way helped you get through a nightclub yourself. Have a good one, everybody.